Welcome back to Good Day. I brought everybody down the street now. Good and to see you. Yeah, we had some food. How was the slushy? It was fantastic. I know. I started eating mine as well. That shaved ice, so good. Very good. Um, so we've done food, we've done, you know, the activities, mm -hmm. but we have another activity that I want to introduce you guys to. So okay. we are in Do Art here in downtown Blissfield. Okay. So can you guess what we're going to do? We're, we're going to paint a little bit. Yeah, we're going to do some <laughs> art here. So we're going to bring in uh, Barrett. He's the owner. And uh, of course, this is kind of an art studio, but also a place where we can do some classes and Hello, have some fun. I do some uh, classes in acrylics. I've got some workshops that I've got going on with the barn over there and these hummingbirds. I've got a range of different things to do. Today, we're going to be doing an abstract because we don't have time to paint a whole big paint. I don't okay. think I can do that anyway. Yeah. You know what? Some people <laughs> struggle through it, but you might surprise yourself. Okay. okay. Well, let's head back there. Let's get started see how our creative skills go. Okay. Right, we'll follow you there. This should be very interesting so to see. Kind of like where they end up if you want to do like the whole day where come back after it's dry, put on a stencil. This is kind of where they end up after they dry. So it's a process. So you can come in, have fun, make a mess, then let them dry, go out throughout the town, go get some lunch, go <laughs> grab a beer. Heck, grab a beer, come here. That's fine, oh, too. there you go. So I got one set up where it's kind of in process, still wet. And okay. So we're just going to kind of move it over. I love the colors, the teal, the purples. And, oh, hey, so, did you do that one? Yeah. Okay, no. looks good. All right, do you want to give it a try? Okay, right. so uh, when someone comes in, uh, what what all do you offer? Like, is this just, this is the short version of things? This is kind of like a condensed thing. This is one of the things I've been doing lately. But if you want to come in and do something that's art related that isn't here, it takes a real defined months or even years of skill to build up. You just want to come in and make something creative? Come in, have fun. I have other things where if you want to learn, yeah, I could teach acrylics. I could. I have plans to maybe do some oil classes. Um, I have done a few watercolor classes, so if you're interested in doing that type of thing, come on down. Uh, this is one of those where it's just art takes all forms. Okay. So you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to do something where. A lot of different things. We got the elementary school art show coming up here where we've got a bunch of things going and that's one where giving back to the community and being able to do the mural for the town, those things, it takes all forms. Yeah. So awesome. So something where they can come in and just not have to think Wait, about it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So like we have a too. blank canvas here. How right. do we get started? So the way I usually get started, it's funny once I get going, I usually drip some in the beginning and then oh. I start it with that. Okay. And then I, I wet the whole thing down. Oh, a lot of people are going to be like, wait a minute. Yeah, why do you wet it? Things. So it helps move things. And the idea that I'm going to do is I'm going to build layers. And the first couple layers I do is just Thicker paint. Mm -hmm. Oh, look I at that. Just, I, I can do that. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like I'll that. try. Okay, here you go. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Kind of just kind of. Don't, don't mess up, yep. Amanda. I'm and nervous on watching. How you hold the brush, depending on how you hold the brush, like if you if you have it like this way versus this way, mm -hmm. it'll lay the paint That's down differently. Okay. And then, yeah. All right. Move on to Let's the Let's do part. a different color. Now, the cool thing is, I got these. Special ones. Special ones. Yeah, okay. They're, they're called <laughs> in, interference colors from Golden. Okay. Let me clean this up. Get, get, you, I get you. Clean brush. And with this, it gives it like a glisten. You see it from one direction, you don't from the other. Ooh, so okay. Same thing. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I feel this is stress relief for Amanda. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's funny. Like art therapy, like they should go hand in hand. I, I'm much happier now that I've started to move at this place. <laughs> Love Good, that. So, Bear, Bear, why do you think it's important to offer something like this in Blissville? I think they should be offered everywhere, honestly. I had a place, so I lived in Chicago for about 20 years. Me, well, me too. That's okay, my whole town. Home. Yeah, yeah. Home. South suburbs of Chicago and Dalton. South suburbs out in Schaumburg. <laughs> okay, Arlington. okay. We learned a lot about each other exactly. today. <laughs> <laughs> so out there, my buddy started a street art gallery. Street artists are totally different. I was doing like these weird, like surreal type paintings with messages, and I stopped doing that. I start because I'd spend months on them. It got to the point where these people, they do art for a different reason. 
And the speed and rapidity of it changed what and how I, my focus was. So I wanted to kind of bring a place like that here where it's a mixed mash of everything. Like I, I've got a YouTube channel, it's called A Random Artisan. And it's kind of because I am. I, I dabble in these f fine art cuts of abstract and design and I've got these conceptual pieces, I do murals, like, I try not to settle in one place, because then I'm never, if you don't explore, you're never learning. And art can be learning, it can be therapy, it can be all sorts of stuff, it's what you make of it. So with this, I think you, I made you, some pretty great. No, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think it needs some some oh. purple. Purple. <laughs> yeah. Purple. It matches purple the good day feel. But it yeah, does. like you said, this gives an opportunity uh, for so many just to explore their it mind and uh, just throw things down. Do a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lay, lot. It on, lay it on thick, Amanda. Oh. And of course, Stop people working. can come in and buy some of your pieces here. Mm -hmm. We can also do some classes. Yep. I've got lots of pieces for sale and available. I've got lots of different things. So there for a little bit, I was working on potentially opening a meadery, which might happen in the place, maybe over time. And I've got a whole series of bee drawings that I've got from those that is like the next phase of where I'm kind of going to go with some of my more recent conceptual ideas. Yeah. And I see backpacks as well, so are oh my goodness, people yeah. creating those? No, that anything in this place is pretty much mine, minus the jewelry and it's some spirographs from my friend Sarah. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, the backpacks are like, I take my watercolors or my different designs and I've got a whole site devoted to, I've got almost, every, not all my art, but almost all my watercolors on different stuff. Like How'd home I do? goods. Yeah. Looks beautiful. It looks great. great. No. Thank you for walking me through this. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. I'm, I think I'm going to maybe try to make some money off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, though. Thank you so much for, uh, you. for inviting us. We appreciate it. Yep. And we still have more good day to come. Stay with us. You'll have a lot of learning yet to come.